The Lowdown – Why Personal Branding Matters This presentation will give you the lowdown on why you should care about your personal branding. You'll first discover what exactly personal branding is and then why it matters. It will then discuss why you should dedicate your time to precisely developing your personal branding. While it may seem like something that can be tedious to flesh out, Personal branding is an essential part of business strategy and a key aspect of success. Basically, your personal branding is how you market yourself to be perceived by others. It is your public image and therefore needs to reflect your goals. And it needs to be consistent and positive across all platforms. Personal branding is, effectively, the impression that your audience will have of you, so naturally you want it to be a good one. Personal branding encompasses the distinctive combination of your assets, your education, your skills, your experiences, and your personality as you want your followers to see it. Your personal branding is unique to you and you only. Therefore, when creating your personal branding, you need to determine what makes you unique and use this to make yourself recognizable. Figure out exactly what makes you special and then capitalize on that. You should brand yourself around your strengths. The key to successful branding strategy is executing it in such a way that does not seem like you are marketing yourself at all. It is simply how you are. This is because consumers crave authenticity and credibility. You do not want to seem like a persona, just a person. There are so many unknown faceless accounts scattered across the internet. Use your branding to ensure you stand out from them. But why does personal branding matter? Is it not enough to just be out there? The answer, unfortunately, given the sheer quantity of brands that people interact with daily, is no. It pretty much boils down to whether or not you want to be successful. Since you presumably want an audience to sell yourself and your products to, personal branding matters. Personal branding helps to build and foster a connection with your target audience. Having a good product or good content is of no relevance if you do not have the audience required for it to be successful. By positioning yourself as the expert in your area and creating a strong foundation for your branding, your audience will soon follow. Personal branding is essential to earning name recognition. Once your brand is out there, it is more likely to be successful when attached to a well-known name. Think of celebrities who release products. Would they be anywhere near as successful if they were not endorsed by someone who already has a huge platform, following, and brand? Having a personal branding strategy helps you stand out from the crowd. It is also a great way for you to have a personal connection with your audience. You can market yourself exactly towards their tastes and needs, making it easy for them to engage and interact with you. To conclude, Having a good quality personal brand is the key to success in the 21st century. The Top 5 Benefits to Building Your Personal Branding Strategy Personal branding has numerous benefits. The quality of your branding is the make or break of your venture. Good personal branding helps you to build a strong following and maximize the potential of your target audience and should be one of the first parts of outlining a business strategy for any serious entrepreneur. The idea that having a brand is something that is exclusive to the business world is an outdated belief. In this day and age, everyone has a brand, and forming a good personal brand is the cornerstone of success. This presentation will share five of the top benefits of creating a good personal branding strategy. 1. The impression that good brands leave on audiences. People want the story behind a brand. They want to know the who, what, where, when, why, and how of you. Your audience wants to know why they should care about what you have to offer them, and building a strong brand makes it abundantly clear that you are the best of the best. The impression on your followers is everything and should be top of your mind. 2. It makes you credible. If you have good personal branding, it makes you seem confident and therefore credible. Potential audiences want to follow someone who is reliable and that they know they can trust. 3. Easy to find. 
If you have a brand, you are significantly easier to find in amongst all the jumble online. Do you have any idea how hard it would be to search for that guy doing that thing? You need to be easy for people to find you, or else they will just give up. Do not make it disorganized. Make sure that your usernames are all relevant and are all the same. If that is not possible, it is recommended that you make them really similar or try and find something else. For this reason, it is usually better that you try and claim all your usernames and profiles before committing to a brand. You also need to ensure that there are easy links between all your media pages. Play test them yourself too to make sure there are no error pages or broken links. It is also worth setting up contact pages. Your audience will want to interact with you, whether in a comment section or more privately by email. Give them options. 4. It is easier for branding to get featured or identified. Not only is it easier for exposure opportunities, but other people within the business to feature you and your work, it is easy for your audience to find your content specifically in their newsfeed or inbox. Having a brand helps you stand out. The ability to get featured in another person's content is the hallmark of strong branding. Other brands running profiles on you is a great way to grow your own audience. And strong branding makes you easily identifiable. 5. It will last. Businesses fail. Brands last. It keeps you in people's minds for longer than the time they spend looking at your content. When someone thinks of your niche, you want them to also think of you. Having strong personal branding is essential to remaining at the top of your audience's mind. Remaining top of mind is the goal of any business, and strong personal branding is the easiest way to achieve this and stand out from the crowd. The three most common mistakes made when building a personal branding strategy. In order to maximize the potential gains from your personal branding, you need to make sure you're not making these three common mistakes. In this presentation, you will learn about these really common mistakes and some easy ways to fix them. 1. Not defining or catering your content to your target audience. It cannot be stressed enough that you need to clearly define your target audience. By not committing to a target audience, rather than having the presumed intended goal of trying to appeal to more people, you could actually be alienating potential followers. You cannot appeal to everyone, and if you are trying to, you're likely damaging the relationship with your true target audience. For this reason, not only must you commit to a specific demographic of people, you must always cater your content to them. Use the media that they use. Use the language that they understand and engage with them in ways that they want to be engaged with. Your target audience is quite literally the make or break of your brand. If you are not reaching them, they cannot allow you to be successful. 2. Being inconsistent. Consistency is key in many areas. Consistency includes simple visual things such as using the same fonts and color schemes. These are such little signs of professionalism and attention to detail that shows that you are serious. However, being consistent also includes sharing content of a similar nature that your audience will engage with. This does not mean that you should not try new things. Of course you should, but it still needs to be consistent within itself. For example, having a constant posting schedule at times when your audience is often online. The quality of your content also needs to be high. If you're posting low-quality content at a high frequency, you will likely have low engagement. Put time into developing your content and share good quality content with your audience. Not only are they more likely to engage with something that is of a higher caliber, but it also signals that you are reputable and care about your audience. It is always worth checking the analytics across platforms too. What works on Twitter may not work on Facebook, for example, and you may need to slightly alter your content across platforms. 3. Being hard to find. Is the purpose of your brand hard to find? Does your audience instantly know what you are about and what you're trying to achieve? 
Are your account names weird and not relevant to your personal branding? Do you have your social media set up in such a manner that it is search engine optimized? There is so much stuff out there. There's a jumble of voices, content, and brands taking up space in the online sphere. For that reason, your content needs to stand out. Having a strong personal branding strategy will ensure that it does. Chances are, other brands are targeting your audience too. Therefore, you need your audience to find you and want to choose you and not your competition. In essence, you need to choose your audience and then create content that they will find and then engage with. The success of your personal brand lies in your content and media being consistent and visible for your audience. The top six things to consider when choosing the target audience for your personal branding. The target audience is one of the most important parts of your personal branding strategy. In order for it to be successful, you need to fully understand your audience, their wants, needs, and what you can do for them. This presentation will outline the top things to consider when you choose the target audience for your personal branding. Fair warning, this will feature a load of rhetorical questions, and it is worth discovering the answers. You may need a pen. 1. Demographic First and foremost, who is your target demographic? A key part of the marketing strategy is to understand your consumer exactly. 2. Desires What do your audience want? Now that you have defined your audience's main traits, you need to determine what exactly they want. This could be in terms of products, content, and level of interaction they like with their brands. 3. Challenges What difficulties do they face? What problems do they have that you can solve? Make them realize that something about their lives is missing or suboptimal and wrong. It sounds a little harsh and it can be a little confronting. But good business requires encouraging customers to solve problems that they did not even know they had. 4. How can you improve their lives? Use their desires and their challenges and tell your audience how you will improve their lives. Be strong and firm about this in your personal branding. Having strong and authoritative personal branding means that your audience will be intrigued and feel compelled to interact with your content. Everyone wants a better life. You have to show them that it is possible, and you're the one that will give it to them. 5. Which media do they frequent? Make sure that you are using the same media as your audience. If a tree falls in a forest, but everyone else is in a field, does anyone care? The short answer is no. Tailor your content to that specific media and show them that you are there. 6. How to speak to them Would they respond better to a written form, a visual form, a video, a podcast? Whatever it is, use it. There are many different ways of communicating with audiences, so you need to choose the most appropriate. Language is also key. Use words, phrases, and speech patterns that are familiar and comforting to your audience. A huge part of your personal branding should show that you understand your target audience, and this includes speaking to them in such a way that they want to listen. One example of this is memes. How online is your audience? There is no point creating new content with the latest meme format if your audience will not understand it. They will just think that you're weird, plain and simple. To conclude, you need to have a complete picture of your target audience in order for your personal branding to be successful. You have to understand them completely in order to market to them effectively. Your branding needs to show that you are someone that your audience respects, enjoys, and wants to interact with in order to gain a loyal following. You need to share your content in places where not only will your audience see it, but they will want to engage and interact with it. Your personal branding has the power to achieve all this. You just have to ensure that it does, in such a manner that your audience will respect, appreciate, and trust you.
The three most important things to define in your personal branding. When developing a personal brand, there are so many things to consider. Not all of these things are created equal, however. Often, the different elements of branding strategies supplement each other, and should one area be lacking, it will have a negative impact on the whole brand and its resulting level of success. Once the following three foundational aspects are clear, the rest of your personal branding will fit together nicely. This presentation will outline the three most important things that need to be crystal clear in order for your personal branding to be strong and successful. 1. First, you need to define your target audience. When asked who your target audience is, your response should not be, oh, we're not being too specific. It is applicable to as many people as possible. You should understand your audience as if it can be boiled down to one specific image of a person. You need to know them specifically to ensure that they will relate to your content and view you as a credible and trustworthy source of information. In order to attract your audience, you must not be afraid to turn other people away. 2. Second, you need to define what you can do for your target audience. Now that you know who your target demographic is, you need to narrow down what you're going to do for them. You need to understand them entirely and know how to target your content precisely to their needs, wants, and desires. You can have the best branding, but if it does not appeal to your audience, what's the point? This also means analyzing the media that your audience uses and targeting them to specifically using that in ways that they will understand and listen. Put your branding in front of your audience in such a way that they cannot resist engaging with you. 3. Have a clear message. You need to be clear about what your personal branding is and what it stands for. What is the overall message you want to convey and why should your audience care about it? To help with this, refine and narrow down a simple version of your overall brand message to 25 words or less. What's more, do not sugarcoat it. What people want most in the world is to be told the truth. Now that you have your target audience, your goals, and your message, keep it in your mind. It can help to write them down somewhere as a constant visual of what you want to achieve. Once you have the three foundations to your personal branding, you can progress with the rest of your branding strategy. But like with the house, the whole thing will collapse if the foundation is done wrong. These pillars are imperative to the success of all personal brands and should be revisited often. Firstly, simply to remind you why you're doing what you're doing. And secondly, to make sure your content aligns with it. The three things you need to check to make sure your personal branding is reaching your target audience. In order to make sure that your brand is operating efficiently, there are a few methods you can use to determine whether you need to reevaluate your strategy. One such way is by checking the data and analytics of your social media. It can be tedious to do, especially when you're just starting out, but it is essential to be able to check the effectiveness of your personal branding. This presentation will inform you about the top three things you should be checking to make sure that your personal branding is reaching your target audience. 1. What comes up when you search for yourself? The first thing to check is the Google search results. What comes up when you look yourself up? Is it you? Look up any business names you have, as well as your own name. It is also worth searching for relevant keywords. First, do you even show up? If not, or if you're low in the results, it means you need to work on your SEO. More on this later. If you discover embarrassing pictures from middle school, or if you are tagged in controversial posts by a family member, make sure you delete them all. You do not want your past to impact the professionalism of your personal branding. It is also important to do this in incognito mode and after clearing search history and the cache so your previous browsing behavior does not impact it. 2. Search Engine Optimization SEO. Search engine optimization is something that is often neglected. It is the easiest way to improve your searchability. Search for your personal brand and see what comes up. 
Consumers use keywords to find the things that they are searching for. You want it to be you. Check search results from different keywords and spellings. Update your SEO to better reflect the language people may use when searching for you. Hashtags are a great way to reach people who are not already engaged with your content. Spamming hashtags will not generate an engaged or authentic audience. Strategically using hashtags, in particular, hashtags that are popular but not flooded, is essential to gaining a bigger following. There are many third-party tools that can be used to search for the popularity of different hashtags to ensure your content gets discovered. 3. Analytics Go through the analytics of your social media accounts. Check the demographics of your audience to make sure that it aligns with the actual target audience of your personal branding. If it does not, why is that? Your personal branding needs to reach the audience that it is targeted towards. Consider adjusting the type of content, the media type you're using, and the platform you're on. You should be checking the overall analytics and then looking into each of your posts specifically. Note down which are successful and which are not. You should then try to determine why. You need to also check the level of views in comparison to the level of interactions. Do you have a high audience but low engagement? Your online reputation is everything. Your personal branding may be theoretically impeccable, but if you're not reaching your audience, then it is wasted effort. It is worth setting time aside periodically to make sure you're on track to meet your business goals and your professional branding strategies are continuing to be effective. Four easy ways to carry your brand into your everyday life and build your authenticity. In this day and age, people want the truth, and they want to interact with authentic people. There are so many scams out there. Do not let downfalls in your personal branding make you seem like one of them. By living your brand, it shows that your brand is not just some abstract concept created to make money. Behind the brand is a real person with real dreams. This presentation will share some simple and easy ways to incorporate your personal branding into your everyday life and improve your credibility. 1. You need to live your brand. Living your brand is essential. You need to embody your personal branding, so it does not come across as branding. It just seems like you. Given the sheer amount of content out there, it has become increasingly obvious who the fake brands are. Living your brand shows that you are real and authentic. It is not just a facade you put on for business purposes. 2. Dress well and appropriately. Clothing is a simple visual reflection of who you are. For this reason, your appearance does reflect on your brand. Ensuring you're well-dressed is an easy way to portray the reputable brand you're trying to be. There is a reason that, in general, people are more likely to trust someone in a business suit than a tracksuit. By taking pride in your appearance, you are taking pride in your personal branding. It shows that you care and are confident in your personal branding and your audience will soon follow suit. No pun intended. 3. Carry business cards. While this may seem like an antiquated aspect of business, Business cards are associated with trust and status. Just make sure the design is consistent with your online branding. Add your social media handles, website, and contact information to make it easy for people to find you on their preferred platform. A unique thing to do would be to add a QR code so clients can be taken easily to your online presence. A business card is a physical reminder of you and your personal branding. Plus, it is much easier to forget a face than it is to lose a piece of paper. 4. Networking is key. Surround yourself with people who are similar to you, whether they have the same goals or lifestyle. By surrounding yourself with similar, like-minded, and equally authentic people, you are creating a network of contacts. Not only are you able to leverage new and exciting opportunities, you can also help and be helped by others. Other brands may be able to feature you and share your personal branding with their following, expanding your audience too. 
Your audience wants to believe that your life is achievable. So by networking with equally ambitious and qualified people, your personal branding becomes more credible and trustworthy. After all, celebrities usually end up friends with each other. To conclude, we have all been bombarded by websites that want us to prove that we are human by correctly identifying traffic lights. Your personal branding also needs to show that you are not a robot. Living your brand is the easiest way to show this. Carrying your personal branding into your everyday life is the easiest way to add consistency to your brand. Your personal branding is, in effect, your public image, which means it should be present in your everyday life too. The three simple things to incorporate into your personal branding. Personal branding and business planning can seem like really complicated endeavors to undertake, and truthfully, they can be. But that tends to occur when you neglect the essential groundwork. Skipping simple steps in the beginning can harm your personal branding and put you behind. It is important to remedy these mistakes as soon as you realize there are better ways to do things. This brief presentation will outline three simple yet important elements that need to be incorporated into your personal branding strategy immediately in order to level up your personal branding strategies and foster the growth of an engaged audience. 1. A clear message. You need to be clear and concise about what you want your personal branding to convey. If you seem conflicted about your message, your audience will be too. Do not try and overcomplicate it. A simple, clear message will yield better results than one that tries to tackle too much. To make sure you've nailed this step, it can be a good idea to really narrow down your branding to something very specific. Perhaps a list of keywords and concepts will help you visualize exactly what you want to achieve. Then, as you enact your business plans, go back to this list often. It will help you recenter yourself and really carve out your personal branding strategy. 2. Personality Basically, your personal branding just needs to show that you're a real person. If you like jokes, tell jokes, assuming that they're funny, of course. Potential clients do not want to interact with a robot. They want to engage with a real person, which is what you are. No one likes those spam accounts with generic content, so please do not be one. People would rather see you as you are than be bored by a person who's trying to be a serious business professional in a boring gray suit. Figuratively, add on a quirky tie and show some personality. 3. Authenticity Just be real with people. It is as simple as that. Audiences want to follow content that is realistic and achievable. They want to see people they admire living an authentic life. Social media is often called a highlight reel, where creators only share the high points of their life. While this is important to do, it is also essential that your content is real and reflects the life you portray in your branding. Authenticity can be infectious, and often audiences find it. It refreshes their mind and makes them believe in the brand. It adds credibility and builds trust with your audience. Cut all the excess and the drama and just be real and authentic. Potential clients do not want to interact with a brand that comes across as fake or for lack of a better word, photoshopped. To summarize, the most important elements of personal branding can all come down to one sentence. Do not photoshop a personality just to make a brand seem more appealing. Just be clear and real. It's as simple as that. With personal branding, you reap what you sow. The trust and energy you put into your branding will reflect back on your audience. By incorporating a clear message, a solid personality, and authenticity into your personal branding, you are creating opportunities for yourself and adding equity to your brand. Signs that your personal branding is not working for you and how to test it. Once you have defined your personal branding strategy, it can be tempting and easy to forget about it and move on with your business. However, it is imperative that you regularly assess the effectiveness of your personal branding, and this presentation will show you how. Before we start, it is pertinent to state that analytics can be confusing at first. 
There is no shame in being confused and overwhelmed to begin with, especially if data is not your thing. But once you take the time to understand them, you can make analytics work for you and your personal branding. 1. The search results for your brand are incomplete or mixed. Firstly, and simply, do some searching for yourself. Use different keywords, search engines, and do not forget to clear cache so that you're getting unbiased results. If you're not one of the top results, you need to reanalyze your SEO keywords and media types. Make sure that only things that are positively connected with your branding show up. This means deleting old content and pictures that may distract from the integrity and messaging of your personal branding. 2. The level of engagement with your content is low. Within many social media platforms, you can track where people are clicking, how long they're spending on a page, where they find your sites, and whether or not they engage with your content while they are there. For example, there is an impressions feature on tweets, so you can see how many people are seeing your content and what proportion of them are interacting with it. Instagram and Facebook have similar features to track the success of your content. You want your followers to not only be seeing, but also actively engaging with your content. 3. Audience is not growing, or is not growing effectively. If your follower numbers are remaining stagnant, you may have a content problem. Again, first check your interactions to see whether your followers are either seeing your content or engaging with it. A good first step is to be more active on your pages, whether it be posting more regularly or in different places or at different times of day, or more simply, interacting with your followers more. Your target audience and followers are specific to your personal branding, so make sure that the content you are sharing speaks to them and gives them reason to speak to you. Using or reevaluating the hashtags you use is a good way to reach a wider audience, and you should check the popularity of different hashtags too. 4. Use the data you have just collected and change your strategy. Now that you have all this data, Change your approach to close some of the gaps and run a campaign. The only way to check if your content is successfully reaching your audience and growing it is to run a new content campaign. You also need to effectively monitor its progress while taking into account the changes you made to your media use and your branding. The results may not be instant, but it is important to chart the relative success of different personal branding strategies. Did this make a difference? If it did, Congratulations! You have successfully created an effective personal brand. Keep monitoring the data and stay ahead of the curve. If not, you may need to reevaluate your personal branding strategy. There is not a quick fix, and it may take some trial and error to perfect your media use. The 5 Secrets to Using Social Media for Your Brand this presentation will let you in on five little-known secrets that will help you utilize social media effectively for your personal branding. Social media is one of the best and easiest tools to use, so make sure you're maximizing the potential of your personal branding with these simple fixes. 1. Make sure your audience can see you. You should have the best personal branding in the world, but if your target audience cannot find it, there is no point. An easy way to check whether your social media is reaching the right people is to check the analytical breakdown of your followers and make sure it matches your target demographic. Additionally, you want your personal branding to be recognizable, which means it needs to be cohesive across platforms. 2. Total engagement is more important than total followers. This is a classic case of quality over quantity. Having fewer active and engaged followers is better and more useful than having many followers who ignore your content. It is not just about having active followers. A huge mistake that many brands make is not interacting with your audience. Reply and interact with any comments, questions, or shares your posts receive. This immediately makes your personal branding more personable, accessible, relatable, and more credible all of which are essential goals of branding strategy. 3. 
Do not overlook websites such as LinkedIn. Social media is not just about reaching potential customers and clients. It's also about building a network of people. Websites like LinkedIn can be useful in finding collaboration, mentoring, or opportunities that are not otherwise found. It is also worth setting up profiles on many different social media sites, even if they are not a primary area for you, just so that you have the correct usernames in case you ever change platforms. Just make sure you provide contact information and links to where you're more available. 4. Making sure your social media pages are connected and you're connected to them. Your clients need to be able to easily navigate from one page to another. Given how easy the internet has made things, people are often unwilling to put in the extra effort. They're more likely to just close the tab. This means that you need to ensure your website is up-to-date and mobile-optimized, and your social media pages are connected. An easy way to do this on Instagram is to add a link tree to your bio that has a simple and complied list of everything anyone might need. Installing a contact page or section of a website is a great way to show that you are active and care about your clients. Of course, make sure you reply promptly. Plus, Remember that social media pages such as Facebook show how responsive you are to messages. You want your brand to be seen as reliable, which means you need to be available to respond to any queries. 5. Search engine optimization is your best friend. Use it. While it can sound complicated, using search engine optimization is the best way to improve your social media traffic. It can be hard to get your head around at first, but taking the time to understand and then utilize SEO is an almost foolproof way to make your personal branding seen. By taking action in these five areas, you are unlocking potential and adding value to your personal branding. Remember, connect with your audience and they will connect with you.